Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with me and Galen. Oh, did you start? I did start, yeah. This is on YouTube? You didn't tell me that. God, it just found out today. It is officially on YouTube now. Wild. Wild. Who'd have thought of the, what was it, like now three attempts to do some kind of series collaboration that Caves of Cud would have been the one? I mean, Farm Boys can come back. He's doing a big update, so it'll be worth it, but... We also tried Don't Starve, if you'll recall. Yes, and also, that's fine. I love that game. Although, we should have more people if we do that. Really yeah. stretch our resources, you know? Yeah, so so that uh, there's, there's more hands for uh, beekeeping. That's right. That's right. It's a joke that no one is going to get. All right. So what? What are? What are we? What are we doing? I don't. I. I died. We tried yeah. going to a place and I died because those guys explode my brain. Mm. I have a note here that says, "Get good hat." Get good hat. Get good hat. Let's look at your equipment. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got wings. Hold on. Th this I mean... is your inventory. Yeah. I remember. Uh, no, I, I, I was actually just realizing myself. Um, Beverage five. Okay, go on. Let's. Can I have a look at your nano pneumatic jackhammer for a sec? Like, let's look at it for just a moment. Um. Yeah, let's look at it. What the heck? Oh, we might need to turn on a setting for you. Um. Can, yeah, let's go to your options. This is important. I'm sorry. My options are achieved by pressing the... Uh, yeah. Escape button. Escape button. All right. Um, we're going to go to user interface, I think. Okay. Uh, display detailed weapon penetration and damage in name. What? Uh. That's the one. Let's go back. We're good. All right. All right. Now, now let's look at your nano pneumatic jackhammer. Also, try saying uh, that once. <laughs> nano pneumatic jackhammer. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot. All right. Uh, uh, we still have to look at it because it's so freaking long. Uh, okay. So here's here's the important takeaway. Um, we know that uh, the nano pneumatic jackhammer caps penetration at seven. We see that now. Okay. Um, yes. We're at six, so that means like we're not quite, but beginning to see the end of the relevancy of the nano pneumatic jackhammer. Um, we probably want to get you a better weapon, since we are. Can cudgels, it also be a? Can it also be a jackhammer? Uh, I'm afraid not. Like there's. They did. They don't, there's not a lot of scalability with the jackhammer. It's just a very good early game weapon. I okay, really. But I I need to go through walls forever. This is. So there are definitely ways to do that. Um, one of the ways that we can achieve that is actually with cooking. Do you want to try that? You want to cook me a new jackhammer? Basically, yeah. Wild. Okay. Let him cook. I'm gonna write that down. It doesn't. It's not a. It's not a. Look, new jackhammer. <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook a jackhammer. All right. Okay. Um. No, I want. I want a hat. I want to. I want to stop these brain boys from blowing up my brain. Oh right. You want. Um. We keep encountering novice of the sightless way with you, and it really is a problem. <laughs> It certainly slows down everything we try to do. Yeah, I, it's just like really bad luck. You know what we're gonna do? Um, do we have a ranged weapon? I think I. See we have a gun. We have a gun. We have a rifle. Um, do we have bullets? Did I make you buy like every bullet? I I, I do believe I have a whole bunch of bullets. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start blasting. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So I'm looking at my Isakar rifle. Yeah. Here, it says empty. Yeah, you need to reload I... it. Okay. Oh. So okay. You can do that from. Yeah, you can do that That's... from here. Okay. 
There you go. So it's not like a, an upgrade hold. I was just it literally had no bullets in it at no, the time. No, we can modify it, but um, by the time we want, we're able to modify things, we'll have upgraded to something better than the Issachar rifle. All right. All right, let's head on out of here. I'm going to introduce uh, you to one of my favorite uh, activities. Yeah. Yes. Do you uh, do you want to get rid of that dialogue? Because that's an option we can check. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's fair. Doop, doop, doop. Here we go. Here we go killing again. I feel like you should pick up that water skin next time you walk by it. It's broken. Oh, right. I feel like you should destroy that water skin next time you walk by it. So I never think that again. All right. We're going to go straight west. Straight in, west. Into the salt dunes. Probably going to get lost. This is fine. Our, our goal for today is to find you... Um, something to kill that doesn't kill you back. I'm lost. Yeah, that's fine. The skunk. We're gonna continue as skunks are you generally speaking pretty friendly. Yeah, they're they're fine, neutral. And uh, can I pet him? You can try. Is he gonna? Oh, oh he might not. Oh, something's eating him. There's also, also there's a, a yeah. Bug. A tumbly pond. Do be tumbling. And blow up. Those blow up, yeah. We wanna we wanna not be next to that thing. Yeah, shooting it might not be a bad idea. You did take some damage, it was close enough that you were in its AoE explosion. That's okay. That uh that law up there is not the not the one. That's a law It's blue. too late now. I don't know how to undo. There we go. There you go. Uh <clears throat> so the problem with petting skunks is they aren't aggressive to you they are aggressive to other creatures yeah he's hurting <laughs> that dog yeah they're they're not friendly with each other oh there's a feral law you're close uh, enough you could just like step towards it and melee hit it yeah you're gonna take a hit here there's no avoiding that stunned yep Stun stunned stunned good nice good job good job on that conk um uh, and i i still want to keep going west right yeah you do i i don't know i am i mean you yeah i was gonna say like actually roaming through the forest of the floral fields is generally dangerous um, I don't think that what you're doing is bad. But my main concern is that that goat folk up north. So I'd, I'd say get behind a tree. So is that know, chameleon? That is, they're, they're, they're unfriendly, but your, your main threat right now is being shot at. You can shoot back, but I, I don't hold out much hope for... Well, you can mark them. Let's, let's see how this goes. Uh... Plus sign. It's M. Or plus sign. Oh, is it or plus sign? Okay, my bad. Sorry. And now that chameleon is like directly in your way. The good news with that is that if he's in your way, he's also protecting you from gunshot. There's a good chance that he will uh, take a hit. Oh, wow. You're is the like. The yellow goat also bad? Yeah, all goat folk are bad. They are all pretty dangerous. Nice shot. Oh god. Oh wait. No, no, no. You might you might want to just like step take a step right. Hope that you're not in the AoE. Nice. Yeah, flower fields suck. Um they are they are not friendly. Oof. There's so many goat men. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that. You you need to run. There's no there's no fighting this now. You might have had a chance, but.
but the seed sower really kind of um, guarantees. Yeah. I died. You did die. You wanted to hit straight Let's south. Let's go again. Seed sowers suck. Um, they, they're like one of the worst things to encounter in the game. But I won't say that it's bad luck you encountered them. They're pretty common, unfortunately. No. Yes. Yes. Let's go again. It's okay. This is normal. Dying a lot is is part of the fun. <laughs> okay, how do, do I destroy something on the ground? Uh, hold control and, and then uh, press north. There you go. It's gone. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Can I? Oh, I forgot you have wings. I do have wings. Should I fly over flower fields? Well, well, I mean, no, it doesn't help. I think it does actually help you not get lost. Let me, let's have a quick look. Um, you can go ahead and equip them. It will unequip your weapon, unfortunately. All right. And um, hit A. We're going to have a quick look and then go to fly. I mean, I meant like go to it so that we can look at it. <laughs> I That's thought I, I was. Oh, yeah, no. No, it's in my inventory. It's, mm. it's in A. You're in A. You're in A. All right. Nope. How do you... That, that I've run should... out of buttons to press. No, I mean, like, we just needed to hover over it. Like, see how the other ones give us a description? Oh, I um, see. But it apparently doesn't have a descriptor, which is frustrating. Okay, so let's go ahead and just toggle it on. And, and I'm pretty sure it does offer us a bonus against getting lost. Um, so we'll just, like, try and head west. Um, there's not, there's no um, danger of, like, like, if you fall down, you're fine. It's only when you're hovering above, like, open ground that uh, falling out of the sky is bad. All right. So what we're going to do, head west a couple more times. Okay, getting lost here is fine. This is actually, like, the goal. Falling down. We I've are gotten no up. We're knocked prone. Oh, give me one second, actually. Oh. All right, you're good. Go ahead and uh, put your weapon back on. I just noticed that my capture wasn't filling the screen your mechanical wings are unequipped okay cool so um this is the salt dunes or the salt desert um there's a lot of cool stuff in the desert and it's one of the best places to train because um for the most part it's very very open like there's nothing to kind of get in the way and um that means you can see danger like immediately um i'm also gonna introduce you to a, a new shortcut key it's a really easy one um we're gonna hit w and then we're gonna hit north and like it's pretty obvious what that does but the reason it's better than like moving manually is because if there's a danger then uh, your character will automatically stop so okay there's only two two rules here um we're gonna use get used to using w to move and when you enter a new screen try not to like move right away so we'll just we'll enter the new screen and then we're gonna we're gonna just see what we can see okay cool so the reason we don't move right away is that when you enter a new screen there uh, this is true anywhere by the way you get a one turn grace period where even if you are surrounded by enemies they won't have 
like recognize that you're there they won't un like they haven't um they don't know that you're there basically you get one grace period turn before they'll actually become aggressive and start attacking you so if you enter a new screen and you're surrounded by enemies you're gonna want to duck back into the previous screen right away and then they won't follow okay. you but yeah, we have... Cowardly. I love it. Yeah, the, the Caves of Cut, I mean, uh, like, playing it optim optimally means playing it like a coward. Uh, you know, we can always come up with the, the lore that Batman would, you know, always um, lurk in the shadows and wait for their window to, you know, strike with impunity. It's, it's true. It would. Um, all right, so we've got some dawn gliders. Do I want to take a shot at one of those? Was that a question? I think we do. Um, so you go, go ahead and mark it. You have plenty of room, plenty of space to, to hit this guy. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna unload. <clears throat> you might notice that they are tough. If they get close enough, you're gonna see why they're tough. First of all, they are flying. They do fly. Um, creatures attack, like, flying creatures, uh, at melee are some of the toughest in the game, but when you have a ranged weapon, it, it definitely cuts their, um, threat in half. We are, we are hitting them. Hoping that we hit them a few more times before they get too close. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I think the other one's coming towards us too, which is unfortunate. It's okay. If you if it gets to you, um, we have contingencies. Oh, it's not a bullet. Oh my god, we're missing a lot. Okay, so wait before you shoot, um, you want to you want to put yourself out. Do you remember how to do that? Is this has come up before? The, you have been on fire before, yeah. I don't remember that, but I believe you. All right. Um, so you want to press uh, num5 to wait. And when you wait, your character automatically beats the flames. So now, I mean, it, this seems bad because they just breathe fire on you, but that has a cooldown for them. So they can't do it for a little while. So we can take a few shots while they, uh, while they get their cooldown back. Okay. Yeah. This is you dude is really bad at shooting a gun. He really is Batman in that regard. He's a he's a smash man. I thought we had some agility. Might be wrong about that. I don't think this is going great. It's okay. Um, here, the the contingency is that when they get up to you, we there's a chance we can like put them in a daze melee. So take one more shot. All right, we're good. I had I had to reload. Ah, uh, it's fine. All right, now we're gonna try and um, yeah, try and like hit them. Nothing you can count. Yeah, because they're flying. Um, so you might just want to try and keep shooting them, and there, it might be that that knocks them out of the air. Are they, like, above you? I, think I they guess might, so. I think they might be in, like, the bo below you screen. Um, I just want to start firing on this next one? I don't know. Try moving to the right one. This is a little bit odd. Oh, you're you're aiming. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there it is. He went he went down. He did go down. Okay. Uh you did hit it, so you can you can keep firing on it. Flinches, it's still flying. It's still flying. Want to pat pat your uh fire out. There we go. Like you are, you are hurting it. It's hurting you, obviously. Oh, you're on fire again. Ooh, that was a nice hit. 
Was, or was that on you? No, you hit it for 14. Badly wounded. You should... There we go. Okay, now um, walk over it. Oh, you don't have... Um, you don't have butchering. Did I tell you not to get butchering? You suggested I wait. All right. Well, I think the time is now. We're going to take butchery. All right. I think you have enough for it. It's not an expensive uh, skill. It's in cooking and gathering. You're right. There it is. Aw, heck yeah, bud. Time to butcher. All right. So now walk back over that corpse. Hmm. Not sure why I didn't do it. Yeah, hit space. We might have to do it manually. All right, hit B. Butcher. You've done it. Cool. All right, let's leave the screen. I don't think that other dog glider is, is aggro to you right now. Um, we can take a few steps just to make sure that they're not following you. Okay, cool. All right, let's learn a thing. Um, let's make a campsite. <laughs> Heck yeah. How did it? I'm on fire. <laughs> what is happening? I think you're still very warm from the dong glider fight. All right. Um, preserve your fresh foods. <laughs> there you go. So you turn the dong glider tail into 10 servings of cured dong glider tail. All right, now let's choose some ingredients to cook with. And we're going to use cured dong glider tail. Uh-huh. And cook with that. Just just with that. See just what it, one? Just one. See what that does for us. Mm -hmm. All right. This might not work, but it might be amazing if it does. Yum, yum, yum. You can use fire breath at level two. Check that out. Wasn't it, it wasn't actually what we wanted, but I mean, it's pretty cool. You can now breathe fire for a little while. Okay. Um, so we can rest. Um, and we can try breathing fire on the, the other Dawn Glider. You want to give that a shot? Sure. Pretty sure they are resistant to uh, heat, but it's fun nonetheless. Give them a little bit of taste of their own medicine. Should I yeah, shoot we could, him first? Yeah, we definitely want to take as many shots as we can. In fact, like, honestly, you could head to the rightmost side of the screen and start shooting at them. So you get the most bang for your buck, no pun intended. Uh, bead. We don't have any special powers with the rifle yet, right? No. All right. Ah, nice crit hit. Aim up, dude. Let's do it. Okay. You don't have to worry about ammo. You've got thousands. Dawn Glider flinches out of the way. Wow. 14, that was a good one. Yeah, I can't aim worth... worth anything, man. It's all good. The, the important thing is that we do a couple of damage before they get to you. Pop, pop, pop. Let the dawn gliders drop. Whoa. Right. Yep. Can I breathe fire on him now? You should be able to. If he can reach you, you should be able to reach him. Oh, no. That shows you we can't do it yet. Incorrect. Uh, they... Oh, never mind. You got them with a cool crit. Let's uh, get that corpse. Nice. Oh, well, shucks. All we right. didn't get to breathe fire on them, but we did kill them. And there's tons of dawn gliders in the desert, so 
I think like one Do more. I go up? Yeah, let's let's head up. We go north. There's three more of them. So, uh, you're probably too close. Oh, I was going to say, you probably aggroed more than you, uh, can fight at one time. Only one seems to be following me. That's true, yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, rude. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, you marked it. Nice. Crit. Ooh, 20. All right, we leveled up. Fantastic. And you're inspired. All right, let's, um, we should be far enough away. Let's cook a new meal. Okay. I want to, I really want to, you to, 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 to show off some of these recipes. I want to preserve my new meat. Yeah, that, uh, that basically turn, makes them weightless. Like, ingredients are weightless. Um... We're going to do cured dawn glider tail again. Now the difference here is that you're going to be presented with three different recipes and you're going to get to pick one that you want to keep forever. <laughs> it's a, a curry pinch of white hot bulgur. <sighs> oh. Gross. There we go. That's the one. We Which want... one? The heat resist? Yeah, we want the heat resist. All right. So the cool takeaway here is that we get to use Dawn Glider Tail to become resistant to their most powerful attack. I do love not being on fire. I mean, just we'll, as a rule, we'll probably still be put on fire, but it won't suck as much. Mmm. Batman's dumpling right. on top Bevet of her. Bevet <laughs> Tunk yeah, the Batman's her dumpling is perfect. It's great. Plus 10 heat resist. It was plus 10 to 15, so it's not guaranteed to be great every time. We can kill a, a couple of more of these. They're worth 375 XP each, which is quite nice. I'm not sure. You need to level 3 hit points. I was wondering if maybe you got your attribute points, but that might be at level 12. Nice. Got him. That was a five penetration hit. You critted it like several oh. times. Rude. But hey, look, you only took six damage. That was far less dangerous. Pop, pop, pop. Let the dong gliders drop. We can't breathe fire on them, unfortunately. But I, I actually don't really don't think that would have done anything. Ooh, that was a nice one. Awesome. If you hit auto explore, your uh, your dude will automatically go to like. Well, you you did it manually, but like if there's a few that bodies. I was right on the, there. You were right there. All right, let's. All right. Uh, we can we can continue on now is it, this isn't the only reason to go to the desert like there's other stuff going on as well but um just the fact that there's something that you can fight and uh kind of grind up a little bit of xp on is is a good start we swell with the inspiration so this is the other thing now that uh the nice thing about desert combing um, is that you, uh, every time you enter a new screen, you get that 5% chance of becoming inspired, right? Um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of nothing in the desert as well. So you just enter a lot of screens and we become inspired quite a lot. Um, so let's, let's make a new meal. I'm gonna get you to do, um, star apple jam and vine wafer again. Uh, cook. Cook. I have time for your meal. Some star apple jam, some vine wafer sheep, and some home creep flake. 
Close. I eat the meal. Ah, perfect. You want that middle one there. Whenever I drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance one of my negative status effects is removed at random. Okay. So that is incredible. It's one of the most powerful recipes in the game. Ah, couscous with donut. <laughs> nice. Uh, so let, let me let me show you something cool. Actually, this is uh, this is where Caves of Code gets really cool. Um, let's um, let's go to the Overworld. Can I do that? Am I not lost? You're not lost. Oh, I'm not lost. We want to. We actually want to be lost. So just like head towards the six day stilt towards the top left, and we're hoping to become lost. Nice. Good news. Good news. Perfect. Uh, there is some stuff to your right side, so we don't want to aggro that. Um, Who's that guy? That's probably Reshef. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's Darlishid. Darlishid. Mm -hmm. While traveling through Saloon District Kabat, Darlishid stopped at a market in Haurabarabar. At an obscure shop, he purchased a glazed hammer and named it Glazadush. Wait, we've heard about this hammer before. We have. And I believe, like, the first episode. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to get that hammer, but I, I was murdered. Um, can you hit uh, the slash on your numpad for just a quick sec? Okay. I was just concerned at huh. uh, what was on your right side there. You can hit it again if you want to, to get the log back. I think we're far enough away that you should be able to just like walk away and they won't aggro. Um, Where am I going? Go like one screen south. We're going to see what's south of us. Nice. Oh god, that's like kind of worse. Um, There's a... Oh, that's a staircase down on our left side. Uh, the good news is that none of these guys are ranged. The bad news is that we really want to um, cook a meal. Right. Uh, let's go back north. I think we should be able to cook a meal up there. No. Yes. Perfect. All right. So, oh, you know what? We're still metabolizing. Actually, let's get out of that. Sorry, I didn't realize you're, you're still um, feeling the effects of the last meal that you made. That's what metabolizing mm. means. So, um, hit I and go to your water. My water. Yeah, you can hit minus to collapse and then it's going to be at the very bottom. Oh. There you go. Um, so what we want to do is we want to drink some water. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Refreshing. All right. Uh, uh, I'm now tumescent. You are tumescent. Uh, that just means you're full. All right. We want to drink some more water. We're going to do this a few times. Oh, my God. All right. Oh. Okay. Nice. Let's, let's do it again. We're gonna something going to happen at some point? Yes. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh-oh. You vomit. That's fine. All right. Uh, just keep keep on doing that. What's no, up? I feel bad. No, you're good. You're good. It's good. This is normal. This is normal. I don't think this is normal. It's I normal. You're, you're leading me down a path, a path of... This vomiting is, and it's the cud path it's fine there you've done it okay you're no longer lost oh okay <laughs> so lost is a negative effect right so you can i see it you 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 see the <laughs> you can drink water to not be lost anymore Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that gives me a kick every time. I love that. 
Uh, you Alright, wanna... gang, where to? You want to meet the Pope? Meet the... I guess so. Alright, we'll do that in the next episode. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Do it. Closing thoughts? Um... I still need a new hat. You do need a new hat. We're gonna we're gonna get you a new hat. That's why we're gonna go. Are meet we the taking Pope. the Pope's hat? No, why? we're not gonna take the Pope's hat. But he's uh he's in a place where we can get a hat. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.